In terms of feeding calves, malnourishment is the biggest issue. Calves just being underfed, not getting 15% of their body weight, traditionally two litres twice a day. It's just reaching maintenance levels. So you got a cold day where the calf is actually feeling under the weather because he's so cold. He's literally not getting enough just to keep things ticking over, let alone to actually start reaching those targets and putting on weight and, and getting to the point where we have a, a heifer that can be fit to calf down at two years of age. That malnourished calf then in turn, he's just not able to withstand the challenges that are there on farm. They're getting sick, uh, they're going off their feed, and that in turn then is making the situation worse. You have a sick calf and he's just not putting on the weight, he just can't get to the levels he needs to be getting to. Always top of the list is pneumonia and prevention of pneumonia. A scour would also be very topical coming into the spring season and how do we go about reducing the incidence of those two major diseases uh, hand in hand with uh, good nutrition and what to feed the calves and how do we get to that point where we have a healthy calf that's able to withstand these challenges. Last spring we actually had quite a number of challenges uh, both nutritionally and weather related. Uh, we had the beast from the east uh, which obviously um, brought the temperatures plummeting down. Uh, this caused a major problem where calves were being malnourished because not only were they being underfed to start with, uh, in these cold conditions when the temperatures drop below 10 degrees, for every degree drop below that, calves need to get an, fed an extra 10%. Or as I said, for every 10, 10 degrees drop, that calf needs an extra litre of milk. So if he's already only getting four litres of milk, which is barely above maintenance levels, uh, that calf is going to be in a malnourished state. He's going to be immunosuppressed, and this is what we found. Uh, that on top of the fact that the calves were inside for much longer because of the weather. Conditions were poor on their foot, and calves were on top of one another, so there was a lot of overcrowding as well.